guys it's over china has banned bitcoin sending prices tumbling down oh wait no this is uh september 2017 guys it's over china has tightened its claws on bitcoin and oh wait a minute we're still september this is still 2017. guys it is over china's top bitcoin exchanges have suspended trading oh wait we're still in 2017. how many times has china banned bitcoin all right effort let's just look at the charts guys it is over china has banned bitcoin you can see all the red as bitcoin has dropped to the low three thousands wait a minute this is still september 2017. guys look how far we have come since that first ban the first ban in 2017 of bitcoin in china we're at $3,000, now we're at $42,000. China has yet again reiterated their ban from 2017. Does the crypto market care at this point? So let's not waste any more time and jump into today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community with the knowledge and resources to get you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications and also smash that like button to everyone that's watching this video right now. Today we're talking about the new FUD from China banning Bitcoin again. We will do an analysis on the current market structure for Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then we will jump into some trade setups for the weekend. So let's dive right in. So the People's Bank of China today announced its ban on making Bitcoin illegal. Does this sound familiar? Well, it's because they've banned Bitcoin so many times by now, including back in September of 2017, which sent Bitcoin's price tumbling down to back to the $3,000 area before three months later, taking off to brand that the <clears throat> before three months later, taking off to the all time highs of that bull run to that $20,000 area. Now here we are yet again, it is September. We are in the middle of a bull run and China has yet again banned Bitcoin. Does this ban mean that next real big leg up is coming? Possibly the finale of this current bull run? Possibly $100,000? Only time will tell. So this ban is in fact simply a reiteration of the People's Bank of China's existing restrictions in place for the past four years. Last time this happened in 2017 with the original ban, Bitcoin's prices fell only to recover to its original levels within weeks and set a new all-time high of $20,000 less than three months later. Also, don't forget all the times they have reiterated this in the last four years. History doesn't repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. So now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and jump into the analysis for today. So as you guys can see here on Monday's video, we spoke about that $42,000 area and you will see that on Tuesday, we actually breached that area for the first time since back in July, August before we uh, broke out of it. And we, you know, we tested that $40,000 area, which is another support there. And we had a nice bounce back to a high of almost $45,000 overnight. So you'll see that today the high is actually in at 45,119 before, of course, we got the FUD from China and uh, set, sent the crypto markets down to a low of 40,000. Once again, testing that level and once again, rising out of the fire, rising out of the ashes like a phoenix and right back above that $42,000 zone. 
So we've been talking about this $42,000 level and you guys can see why it's so important. It is a very, very strong level there. We have a lot of support. So as long as this holds up, this should be the bottom of this current trading range. So this is the perfect spot to enter those long trades for swing trades to try to ride this up back to the top, which is around that $50,000 area. Now, this is not guaranteed that we're going to go to $50,000 because as you guys can see, the way that the, the chart is currently set up on the daily here, we have the high, then we have the low, then we have a lower high, a lower low. So if we need to break this high right here to continue up and to break out of this current descending channel here, descending resistance here that we've created with these lower highs and lower lows. And so that we don't place another lower low, because if we can't break above this and we set up another lower high, that means that we're going to set up another lower low and that next lower low could possibly be around that $35,000 range. So this weekend, we are watching this level right here, which is right around that $45,000 area. We need to break above it so that we can break this here. What's currently happening right now in on the chart, break the lower highs and lower lows and we need and then of course we need to break above this level here which is that $48,000 area so that's another very important level that we must break in order to break this right here we don't want to stay in, within this channel because then that just means that we're going to continue kind of doing like this and te retesting this bottom channel right here which we don't we really don't want to retest if we retest that then there's possibilities and there's some case scenarios where Bitcoin drops lower than 35 down to 30 to $28,000 range once again, and it ends up testing the lows that we set back here. So it is very, very important right now, guys, this weekend and for the next week that we do break above this descending channel and set up a higher highs over here. Now, of course, the next big thing that a lot of people have been speaking about in crypto, we've been getting a bunch of questions about this, is this possible head and shoulders pattern that we have here in the market currently with the neckline being kind of around, let's say right around here, that's around that $44,000 area. So if this head and shoulders pattern were was to play out, the breakdown from this pattern would be around, it would be around, look at this guys, it would be around a 20% drop and it goes perfectly with this $35,000 Fibonacci level here. So that is a case scenario here. If we basically, if we fall below $40,000, $42,000 and $40,000, again, that is the bearish case scenario where we would drop about 20% down to around this $35,000 area. And the issue with this $35,000 area is that it, although it is a support, it's not a very strong support. So if we hit 35, there is a case for dropping back down to 30 and 28, which is why we don't want to see that play out. But we have to be aware of what's currently in the market so that we know what to expect going forward for the rest of this month. Now that could also be bullish and that could be its final flush basically of all the weekends where we drop back down 35. We test it one last time before then taking off and you know setting new all-time highs within basically the next three months as you guys know october november and december are usually very very historically are very good months for bitcoin and we already know as we've you know covered it many times over september is overall a bearish month we spoke about this September being a bearish month last month. We were preparing for this and we're trying to get everybody in that mind state of the pullback coming in September. And it's exactly what we have gotten so far in September. 
as you guys can see if you pull up the monthly chart here on the month bitcoin is currently down about 10 percent so for the rest of this weekend here we're just going to be watching this level we need 42 to hold we need 40 to hold here and we need to see the price action move up so you know over the weekends there's usually not a lot of volume so there's not there, there probably won't be too much price action but going into sunday when futures market you know is live again and china wakes up even though china's banned bitcoin many many times that's when we can expect some more volume coming into the market here in the crypto space and possibly seeing some movements we we just need this support here to hold if not then that scenario is thirty five thousand dollars would be the, the next level and possibly the bottom of this next move down in ethereum pretty much the same thing guys as you guys already know we say it all the time it pretty much follows Bitcoin you know move for move as you can see today Ethereum's down about eight percent while Bitcoin is down about five and a half percent so pretty much the same thing guys Ethereum is just a little bit more volatile and more exaggerated so whatever Bitcoin does Ethereum exaggerates in the same directions most of the time not always and that goes the same basically for the majority of altcoins as well of course there's always exceptions to that rule so the main level here for ethereum is of course three thousand dollars if we drop below it that next support is around 2800 and then below that is of course 2500 dollars is a major level here you guys can see that ethereum's also getting that same possible head and shoulders the neckline being around that three thousand dollar level which we're currently under that potentially gives us a drop if we saw a drop in the market and we saw the head and shoulders play out pretty much gives us a drop of around 36 percent estimated of course that means that we would probably retest the two thousand dollar area at that point um, before bottoming out and potentially moving back up this is of course i'm talking about the scenario where the head and shoulders pattern plays out if you guys are wondering what a head and shoulders pattern is it is basically a reversal signal and you can see back here in april before the massive drop we had a head and shoulders pattern here you can see the head the left shoulder the right shoulder and then you can see the drop if you got the top of the head down to the neckline, which was right around that $50,000 area, and you moved it to the break of $50,000, which would be the neckline, you would see that it gave us a target of a pullback down to around 36,000. We ended up basically going down to that and staying in that range for a while for that drop. So it was pretty much uh, pretty accurate there with the drop. Now, what we see going lower is just a continuation down once we got in that different pattern we, we were basically in a falling wedge after that which is again a falling wedge is another reversal pattern a trend reversal pattern which then gave us the move back up which we're currently in as of this moment and then now that's why we're bringing to you guys this head and shoulders pattern yet again here because it is a possibility that we have a drop similar to the last time that we got the head and shoulders pattern. So our estimate, if we see that drop, if the pattern does play out, you know, is a retest of that $35,000 area for Bitcoin and possibly around $2,000 uh, retest for Ethereum. So let's dive into some possible trade setups here. So the main levels that we're watching here is 42,000 and 40,000. If those, those levels hold here, we like those areas to enter the market now on all long trades as of this current moment we're risking very very minimal amounts we're risking one percent or less because of the current market structure because of the current patterns we want to risk as little as possible at this point now if you're a long-term hodler if you're holding you know for your long-term portfolio then the way to hedge this this drop is by shorting you know if we fall below certain levels so you can use either forty two thousand dollars as an area to short or a break of forty thousand dollars as an area to short now of course there are many many fake outs as you've seen over this past week so make sure to use stop losses so like that if it's a fake out and it bounces back you close out your position at a minimal loss 
So the long entries are 40 and 42,000 bounce back entries. That means that we're entering not while it's dropping, but when it bounces back. If you would have done that at 40,000, you would have been able to ride that all the way up to basically $45,000 again. If you did it at 42,000, again, you would have been able to ride that up to $45,000. And if you shorted at 42,000, which is, I, I believe it's a trade that we gave last week, break down entry below 42, you would have been able to ride that all the way down to $39,000. So you can play the market in both ways, guys. Now the next breakout entry, if we do get a bounce back, is of course above 45,000. And the next short entry would be below 38,000. So if 42,000 seems too risky because there's a lot of you know, uh, up and down there, uh, you could try 40,000. If that seems too risky, you could try 38,000. It's all up to you. In Ethereum, pretty much the same thing. We're watching that $3,000 area as a breakout entry. Um, we wanna enter as that breaks above that $3,000 area. and that next level would probably be around 2800 but we're not even going to play that you know the next level for us would be more like 2500 and again you know it there is an area that you can possibly short here but because we're already setting up short entries in bitcoin we're not also going to set up short entries in ethereum you know we're, we're, we're fine just holding and just shorting hedging on the bitcoin side just you know letting Ethereum ride. However, once we will we'll consider shorting below $2,500 though, if, if the price were to reach that area. If we do get a bounce back, of course, 3,000 is the first level we're watching. Above that is going to be $3,200 as that next breakout entry that we're looking for there in Ethereum. That's it for today, guys. I hope you guys have had a great week. I know that the market's been pretty much down all week, but that's okay, guys. There's always next week. And remember, September's is almost over. We spoke about September being historically a down month, a red month. It's almost over, guys. We're almost back into October, November, December. And you know that's when Bitcoin loves to run. So, of course, it's up to you how you guys want to deal with these dips. I'm buying the dip. You know, you guys decide what you want to do. I will see you guys on Monday's video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and turn on the notifications. Don't forget to like the video, guys. And if you have any questions about anything that we covered today, drop it in the comments. I'll see you guys on Monday. As always, peace and love.